although a surge in retail sales, so this phrase is fluff, in retail sales, although a surge have raised. It should be has raised, although a surge has raised, hopes that a recovery is finally underway. Okay, that makes sense. So chances are the answer is D. Although a surge raised hopes for their being, that's kind of complicated, so A and B probably no good. Although a surge had raised hopes for a, fi a recovery finally being, this finally being is kind of weird. So although a surge raised hopes for a recovery finally underway. Again, this phrasing recovery finally underway seems a little bit awkward. So the answer definitely is D, and we mark that as our final answer. So let's look at what's going on. Although a surge in retail sales, so they try to trick you here by having a singular word here and then a plural here. So even though the plural one is closer to the verb, the one we're talking about is the surge. It's the surge that raised hopes, right? So you can't, cannot say a, a surge have raised. It's a surge has raised. Raised also works, but this has the issue of you know, raised hopes for a recovery finally underway. The phrasing in D has raised hopes that a recovery is finally underway is a lot clearer. So that's why D is preferred over E. But initially, when you have this f verb phrase, have raised, it's because this surge is singular, and that's why A is no good. And with B, the issue is raised hopes for their being. This is always wrong in GMAT, this kind of phrasing. Raised hopes for their being, a recovery finally underway. That's, that's, this is definitely worse than this, with this E. C? Uh, had raised. You don't generally start, you know, phrases with had raised. This kind of double past tense. Usually it's preferred when you state that you're already in the past tense and then you follow it further and, and you say a double past tense. For example, I knew that he had tripped many times before. Something like that. So where you, you I knew, puts you in the past and then you know, I knew that he had tripped. It puts you further in the past. But in this case, you don't really start sentences with a double past like this. That's generally wrong. But what's more wrong is, you know, hopes for recovery finally being. This phrasing, recovery finally being, is kind of awkward. So that's why C is wrong. So initially, we had the hunch that D was the correct answer because of this singularity we chose has raised versus have raised. And then we read the rest of it, and we found out that, oh, there's nothing wrong. So the answer definitely is D. So as a recap, we read the sentence. We noticed this fluff in, in the retail sales. And the real subject here is the surge, right? The surge is the one that has raised hopes. So this surge has raised hopes that this specific situation. So that's why we had a hunch that D was correct. We read it through and found that there were no mistakes. We chose D as the answer, and we optionally looked at chance, answer choices B, C, and E. And you know, all three had issues in terms of wording recovery finally underway. That, that phrasing is a little bit awkward here, especially recovery finally being underway, and also this past past tense issue here. So again, that's why D is the final answer.